Huge crowds, mud and music, memories of Woodstock, the giant rock festival that gave its name to a generation. But Woodstock was also overdoses, overcrowding, poor security and worse facilities. This weekend, an effort is underway here to revive the spirit but avoid the mistakes of Woodstock. Lights, lasers and lavish logistics mark the US Festival, a three-day extravaganza in the mountains east of Los Angeles. It's spectacular even by the outrageous standards of rock music. Tom Petty, the police, and Fleetwood Mac are among a $3 million lineup of rock stars the US Festival hopes will lure up to a quarter of a million people. They'll sit in a 57-acre outdoor bowl, the world's largest. The stage is almost 200 feet long, and at 300,000 watts, the sound system is the world's most powerful, three times stronger than the Rolling Stones used on their last tour. With the hard rock, high tech. 50-foot video screens enhance the view of the stage. Nearby, a technology fair and a vast array of the latest in computers and electronics. It's the improbable venture of an improbable multimillionaire. Steve Wozniak co-founded Apple, the most successful of all home computer companies. In just six years, Apple has become a half-billion-dollar-a-year corporation, leaving Wozniak worth more than $50 million. Retired now at 32, Wozniak had never been to an outdoor rock concert, so he took $12.5 million of his dollars and bought one. For someone to take their personal resources, one person, and, and spend that much, Generally, they'd be sitting back investing in shopping centers and apartment complexes where the return is very well known and predictable. This is a very risky situation because who knows? We, right down to the day of this event, we aren't going to know if we lose a ton of money or if we, you know, break even. To do that, he'd have to sell out, but at $40 a ticket, sales have been slow. Those close to Wozniak, though, say it really doesn't matter. The more you get to know him, you realize that's all he really wanted to do is throw a party for his friends. Those friends will be watched by 1,100 security guards, use more than 2,000 portable toilets, be tended to by eight clinics, and cooled off amid the sweltering heat and choking smog that also arrived today for the big party celebrating Wozniak's wedding of the age of computers and the age of Aquarius. Judd Rose, ABC News, Devore, California.